next point but you have to be clear with the one thing as i said before the age of universe is 13.73 billion year so universe radius will not excluded 13.73 so what i have uh, said before uh, means there you know uh, uh, finding out the distance of the universe uh, might be a uh, very difficult for scientists but even though the scientists by, uh, by observing the radius of the universe they have find it out uh, nearly a 13 um, you know uh, diameter they have find it out the some measurement of diameter have uh, told about the previous point okay so they have been uh, telling about a uh, one more thing itself what are they are saying means they find it out the age of the universe what is the age of the universe 13.73 billion years so they have find it out the age of the uh, universe it be the true age so they are coming up with a one point what they are saying means if the age of the universe is a 13.73 billion billion so the distance of the universe cannot exclude 13.73 okay so they have coming up for a one good judgment so by considering the age of the universe they have coming up with the one solution okay so the next point so how observable universe will be a 93 billion for this confusion scientist has explained is yes. as before it's before i what i said so the distance by observing the radius of the universe they have uh, i mean find it out the distance of the diameter of the universe is a 93 billion okay so they self asking this question what they are confessing means the age of the universe is a 13.73 billion okay then how will be how we are saying the distance and how will be the diameter is excluding the uh, no the age of the universe so they have, the scientists have been explaining about this like for example one day universe get blasted from the stars or came out okay so given space also get elaborated like a balloon okay so uh, before this is the 13.73 billion the age of uh, the um, universe has been find it out but what they are telling uh, the scientists are what they are telling means one day one day maybe the universe get blast okay so from that from that universe the stars may be come out okay so on that time the space may be get elaborated like a balloon so uh, that may be a cause uh, the uh, differentiate uh, in the sorry difference in the diameter and the age of the universe so they coming up with for the one solution okay so that radius of observable theory is a 27.64 billion years scientist saying this is a big bang theory so so they are coming up with a one judgment according to the observable theory they are saying 27.64 billion years the scientists saying this is a big bang theory okay next when universe appear it has a lot of energy on that point of time and at that point time system was found on that time universe has huge energy density that period is called planck epoch okay so what they are saying means at the when the universe has been discovered okay so when the universe has been find it out at the time that time was also been discovered okay so from the universe a lot of energy so they have come uh, told about a uh, one thing one day the universe get blasted so in that time only the time the time has been discovered because a lot of uh, chemical reactions and energy has been come out at the blast of a universe okay so on that time only the time has been discovered so this is a small clearance of a sign okay so what they are coming to tell means so when i'm uh, before point what i have told about uh, the uh, distance of the dam uh, universe as might be a uh, very difficult to find it out okay so after observing the radius of the universe the scientists have been come to the point that is a uh, uh, 93 billion no uh, diameter of a universe okay so again the one question is a coming what is the question 
Yes, the age of the universe is saying a 13.73 billion, but you are telling the diameter is 93. Then how it, uh, no, it, it will be a true. So how it be? So they are explaining a one more time. Yes, actual uh, diameter is uh, so and so much. So after one day, the universe get blasting. So on, on that blasting, the universe get expanded like a balloon. Okay, so on that time, maybe the universal uh, get uh, so much uh, distances. Okay, so they are coming up a uh, one uh, solutions, and also they are mentioning a uh, one important point. From that blast, the from that bla blast which appeared in the universe on that time only, the time was discovered. So uh, that period is called as a Planck epoch period. Okay, next point. In Planck push period, that is what I said about the Planck push period, when the time has been discovered, okay, at one point of time, the universe is get uh, blasted on that time, the time, no system, time system, not time in any other time, time system, okay, 24 hours time. So, time system has been discovered. That period is called the Planck epoch period. So, on what they are saying, in Planck epoch period, the universe have only a gravity force, okay. So the universe doesn't have any energy or doesn't have anything that contain only a gravitational force when the period Planck epoch period. Okay. So after some period, universe size getting a larger like a balloon still now. Okay. So what they are very interesting point about the universe is, isn't it? Still now the universe is getting uh, expanded like a balloon from day to day life. Okay. So it's a deep like you know just assume like a tree where they are planting a tree and keep on growing the same thing was happening in the universe also so universe is also keep on going on going so how they are going to be find it out the distance okay if they may be find it out as 26.73 billion so they, then tomorrow there will be a changes okay so they are uh, no up to our uh, till the uh, end of the universe itself then no one will going to be find out the distance of the universe because after the one blast has been occurred other uh, there are a uh, uh, daily growth uh, in the universe that is a daily elaborating the universe is getting elaborated like a balloon it's keep on going up bigger and bigger so very interesting point now uh, uh, today you uh, know very interesting point about the universe next point they find it out this that is a universal expand they find it out the, about the universal expand Expand through galaxy uh, Edwin Paul Hubby had found it out the galaxy or a movie so how they are coming to the point that the universe is going elaborating no they will come con come to a con no how they are confess how they are telling the universe is getting elaborated day to day yes the this is was find it out uh, by the uh, Edwin Paul Hubby so he is a scientist who find it out that the universe is getting elaborated day to day uh, you know daily The, through the galaxy okay so to the galaxy how they find out through the galaxy means the galaxy is keep on moving now if it's, uh, it's moving once uh, the galaxy they keep moving so the distance also it's like uh, now it's going so they are coming up to the one point the universe is elaborating a day to day they have come no um, they confess the point by seeing the galaxy movement okay so who's find it out uh, the um, like uh, the universe is getting a larger like a balloon day today the edwin paul hubby have been find it out that the universe is getting a uh, expand through the galaxy moving okay so next point so the universe is getting expanding so they're coming to the point next point scientists are saying due to the dark energy due to the dark energy the universe are get expanding if it keeps on expanding then then don't know what's really going to be happen okay so at one point they are coming to the uh, point uh, conclusion the universe is getting expand, expanding, expand, you know, expanding through the. They have find it out the through the galaxy. So galaxies keep on moving. So to, they have find it out uh, the um, universe is getting elaborate. So why? What is the reason why the universe is getting elaborate? They don't know. They, they are just named as a dark energy. So they don't know about the what kind of energy it is. Like like what kind of. Um, no, it's just, um, in what or actually what is a need and what is a source and what is the resources and what uh, name of particular name of the energy they don't know anything. So they have uh, find it out. I in when uh, using of uh, something 
some energy collaboration only the universe is getting keeps on elaborating so they have uh, named it as as a dark energy okay so due to the dark energy the universe is getting a uh, expanding to day to day life okay uh, day to day so and also they are uh, coming to the point uh, scientists have been saying if the universe is keep on expanding like that then don't know what going to be happen in the future it may be a uh, sometime positive and sometime it may be a negative we don't know okay but due to the some dark energy the universe is get expanding okay so now today we have seen about the uh, some basic uh, introduction about the universe and planets what i'm saying about uh, universe and planets the universe is a name derived from the latin word and the planet is a name derived from the french word why the planet was uh, a word derived we derived from the french word means uh, many uh, planets like and uh, jupiter saturn and uh, many planet were discovered by the french people okay so they may might be a uh, you know kept the name as a planet from the old french word okay so this is a very interesting point about our uh, universe and a second interesting point about it means the universe will keep on expanding so okay what is the reason the universe will get expanding means due to the dark energy the you know, universe will keep on expanding how they find it out the universe will keep on expanding so they will come to the you know if they find it out something only they have come, come to know about this thing so how they come to know about means they have find it out the distance of the uh, try don't they uh, try to find it out the distance of the universe okay so if they find it out uh, no they can't find it out the distance of the universe at one point the scientists have been come to the end so if we observe the radius of the universe we can find it out the distance of the universe so they are coming to the point so when they are observing the radius they have come it coming to the point that is a 96 a billion 96 a billion uh, distance of the universe okay so but we have a doubt the age of the universe is 13.73 billion years then how we are saying the distance may be a 96 billions okay so when we are find no we, we are at the, this point the scientists uh, coming to the find find it out that the universe is keep on going then the diameter also keep on changing okay so how the universe is get um, and what time the universe is get expanding means at one day the universe will get blast so, so from that blast only the lot of energy and lot of stars have been come out and that is called a planck epoch period also because at uh, that period only the time system has been uh, discovered okay so this is a very important and interesting point about the universe and the planets